Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over inheritance. Inheritance is one of those other fundamental concepts that we really have to understand. We touched upon them with regard to libraries, but didn't really call it by that name. So when we talked about libraries, we talked about import, export, we talked about um, a part, part of, but let's talk about it with respect to classes and we'll apply that information that we learn, those concepts to um, just programming in general. So not just with Dart, but any language that you may learn in the future. The classical example to explain inheritance is shapes. So we have a shape, which is basically, my opinion, is just the outside border of an object. So it could be a car, a chair, a circle, a rectangle, anything like that. Okay. If it's two-dimensional, we kick out all of those three-dimensional objects, car, chair, um, and we, we, we say a sh it's on a two-dimensional plane. A polygon is a closed form of straight lines. So instead of circles and blobs, now we have to have straight lines with angles on them, and so forth. Quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Notice that every um, uh, heading here and every subheading and every subsequent one below it is basically the same thing as the thing above it, but it adds additional characteristics. Okay, so uh, anything that's a two-dimensional that has a shape inherits from the super class. So all shapes, all shapes that are two-dimensional um, have characteristics, I'm sorry, all two-dimensional shapes have the same characteristics as shapes in general. It just adds more on top of it. <clears throat> all polygons are two-dimensional shapes, right? So all polygons are two-dimensional shapes. So it inherits, it takes the characteristics of all two-dimensional shapes, which in turn takes all characteristics that they have an outside border of it. And then it adds some more characteristics. So it has all the characteristics of a two-dimensional shape, and it adds it's a closed form of straight lines. All right? So that's the concept of inheritance. We get a class. We extend it. It inherits all of the characteristics, all of the methods, all of the variables. It, 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 it gets all of those um, characteristics, and you can add your own. Okay, so the the thing above the class in this case will be a super class, and the the, the thing below the the class below will be called the subclass. So this is this our super class right here. Class cake, and here are our instance variables, right? So now we're going to go ahead and make a um, subclass that inheritance inherits from cake. All right, and um, a Dart is what we call a single inheritance language. So you can only inherit from one language. From, from, I'm sorry, from one super class. So class, you can inherit there. You can have multiple types of cakes. So a uh, birthday cake, uh, well, I don't know, cake cake, I don't know, dessert cake or something like that, a carrot cake. You, you can um, inherit the soup. The super class, excuse me, can have multiple subclasses, but the subclass can only have one super class. Okay? We use it with the keyword extends. So I'm going to say class wedding cake extends cake. So in other words, super class, subclass inherits all of this and it adds on top of it the small figure on top of the cake. I don't know what that thing's called, but you know, the Brian Groom thing. So, so you have to have that. It is optional in most cakes. Here, you absolutely have to require it. And here, number of layers. I think most cakes are like a single layer and wedding cake is, what, minimum five layers? I don't know. So, something like that, okay? So let's take that and let's learn a little bit. So up here, I'm going to create the instance um, of the class. Wedding cake is the type. Variable name. I'm going to create a new instance of wedding cake. Okay, so I'm going to say print um, wedding cake 
dot, and I have access to all of these variables even though they're not declared right here. Eggs. Oh, we kind of knocked it out, out there. So chicken, right there. Um, we also have access to all the variables, instance variables at least, right here, with extends the small figure on top of the cake right here. And the value of that is true, because it's true right here. Okay, so that's what we, we do. And, and we could just keep going down the line because many times when you create a library, I'm sorry, when you create a class, you may see a class that's already there. And you don't really need to add this. This is nice and simple. You could just reprint this. But what if you had a class that had lots and lots of methods, instance variables, but you didn't want to mess with the class for one reason or the other? Maybe, for example, you needed that class and you wanted to add it instead of just making it wedding cake, you wanted to make also birthday cake and fattening cake or something like that. So so you wanted to keep the class there, but you wanted to extend it into multiple different types of classes. Maybe that's one reason. Maybe because you were just afraid to touch it. Just because the class was looked really good and, I don't know, maybe it belonged to somebody else and you don't want to like mess around with it too much whatever but but this is one way of extending the class itself and that's an example of inheritance few other things when you think about the type the type can also be cake as well okay so you can actually have the type cake and and it'll be wedding cake in and of itself it'll give you a little bit of a mild error right here It still will work, okay? Because you, you want to be as precise as you possibly can when the type, okay? So let's do number of layers. Again, it'll give you a mild error because it's ba no such getter. Because it's basically saying, well, wait a minute. You're supposed to be using this right here, right? Because this is the type of cake, not wedding cake. But the... You're actually creating an object of wedding cake. It's not as precise. The basic, um, best way I would say is that um, if you're going to make a type, you want to be as precise as possible. If you drew a rectangle and said, this is a parallelogram, you are not wrong. But at the same time, you should be as precise, as specific as possible. Say it's a rectangle so that the Dart editor will help you along the way. Again, the more you help the editor, the more it's going to help you too. Okay, so, and we'll change that back there so that there's no errors any longer. All right, so this is an inheritance. We do have to talk about a few other topics about it, and we'll do that in the future. Thank you.